today. We welcome the legend that is uh, Paul Young back on tour, my friend. Very good, very good seeing you. Nice to see very you. Very good seeing you. Yeah. Do you know, Isabel, let me tell you this. When I was uh, a young presenter at Ulster Television, this man came to the studios in Belfast and every female <laughs> in the building... Just like today. Gone, just probably like today. Uh, I mean, heady times, and, and that song in particular, I think, um, whether it was every, every time you go away or wherever I lay my hat, I mean... That, that's just so the 80s, so many fond memories for so many people. Does nostalgia sell? Because what I'm really saying to you is, do you want to push new stuff and people want the classics or do you mind? Well, I'll always push new stuff and, uh, and they will always want the classics. But I, and uh, so, yes, is the answer to all three. And I don't mind. Is yeah, the, you is don't mind. Third. Yeah. Yes, because I'd kind of expect that. You know, if I was going to go and see someone, yeah, I'll listen to something that they've done new, but then the minute you hear those opening chords of a song that you know, yeah. you just get that rush of excitement. Yeah. So it, they've got to be there, really. Yeah. And it, it excites the fans. Does it still excite you after all this time? It does. There's certain songs that I do, and I just know they're going to get the reaction. Uh-huh. Uh, because um, I think intros to songs are really important. And if you can come across a good one, like and every time you go away and it goes mm. da 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 yeah, yeah. da da yeah. da and the minute they hear that they know what's it's, coming yeah. it, 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 you just get that instant thrill yeah and it's so good to get fans back in front of you when you're performing for that instant reaction because obviously we've all had yeah. this period when no one's been doing oh, any it's sort been of performance a terrible time yeah. yeah yeah and what's happening now is there's the, like a car crash of of all the uh, all, all the stuff that was postponed is coming back in plus it was uh, new stuff as well Mm -hmm. So that's why I've ended up with the tour in the spring and a tour in the autumn. OK, the tour in the spring, first of all, is one you've tried before, you've done before in Australia with Go West. Yeah. Go West as in we close our eyes, call me and the, uh, the king of wishful thinking. Yeah, so that was supposed to happen just before lockdown. Uh -huh. And uh, that's been moved uh, uh, two or three times. And, uh, but the one that we're doing at the end of the year was something we were planning anyway. And that's with um, Carol Decker and... Um, Hue and Cry. So there might be a bit of a set change by then because I've also got an album that's coming out in the summer. Yeah. So I could probably put a couple of those in for the autumn tour, you know. Uh -huh. I won't do the whole album though. But it's good to see that there is new stuff there, that you are still excited by that, that the material is there and you have this urge to compose and, and record. Yeah, I do enjoy it and I, I'm, I don't, I'm sure you, you know, but even my hobby is another band, yeah. uh, Los Pacaminos, and they're 30 years old this year, so now I'm working on that album. Yeah. No it's shortage of come things out to by do. The end. Yeah. And what do you say the difference in style that people would expect from you with Los Pecaminos? What, what is there that, that is different? What are you playing at? And, uh, and is it play? Is it real? Like, it is, yeah. it, it's, it's as much play as it is work, yeah. Uh, it's Tex-Mex music, or it started that way. Now a little bit more. Tex-Mex, I'm already feeling the party yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's cowboy hats, pedal steel guitars, yeah. accordions. We sing stuff in Mexican. Uh, we, but, but, but we do write our own material. And I'm one of three singers, so you get a lot of uh, different stuff yeah. going on. Say, and we're also very politically incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, Perfect. We never know what we're going to say yeah. in between the songs. Never. So yeah. lockdown, obviously we talked about the impact it had on touring, but in terms of being creative, was that actually a bit of a godsend for you? Because you sound like you're one of those people that likes to be busy, you're always on the go. Was this a chance to sort of force you to stay at home and create and reflect and come up with new stuff? Yeah, first of all, I like the staying at home. On, on that first part of lockdown when it was spring and they said you're allowed out, it was lovely. You know, oh, nothing in the diary, great. And, uh, but then that wore thin after a while. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, so uh, everything started to come back in. Now it's such a relief to get out there. And yeah, I ch chose that moment as a reflection on a lot of material I'd started, not finished. For different reasons, really. Some. Uh, there's only two covers on the album, and both of them have been attempted by other people, not as singles, but I thought, oh, damn, and so I, I put them on a back burner, and then I went back and listened to them and thought, they sound great, but yeah. they haven't aged. You surprise so, yourself, do you? Surprise I yourself do sometimes, <laughs> yes. I, I, I think I'm a, a big critic of myself, you know, yeah. so... I yeah. to put stuff by. But, but as you say, it's nice to revisit that, listen to it and think, hey, this ain't bad. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised, you know. Yeah. 
Because you're still so got it, Paul. The, uh, well, I hope so. <laughs> still got it. Still got it. Paul will be touring with uh, Go West in May uh, throughout the country. The Essential 80s tour in September with uh, Tapao and uh, who else did you say was on that one? Uh, Hue and Cry. Hue and Cry uh, there as well. So look, great talking. Yeah, great enjoy. tour going. If there was one yeah. song, right? If there was one song that you know they want to hear, what's it going to be? Well, in the UK, it's. Um, wherever I lay my hat, but most of the, the world, it would be every time you go away. Interesting, interesting. Paul Young, appreciate it. Uh, lo lovely talking to you. Thank you very much indeed.